What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of Versus. I am here with my man Kevin Pruitt. How you what doing, up? brother? Good, man. How you doing? Chilling, man. Thanks Thank for you. having me on. Thank you for chilling. Yeah, of course. appreciate it, man. So we're here in uh, Mount Tremblant, Quebec. Beautiful. In the chalet with the homies. We figured, you know what? Since we're here, Kevin is a avid home brewer. Do you want to give us a quick? Uh, what do I call that again? Escalator, escalator, elevator pitch. Elevator pitch. Yeah. Tired, yeah. long day. Uh, love beer. Uh, probably like everyone else, started up, growing up drinking macros. Of course. University, crushing those ice. And <laughs> yeah. uh, slowly started getting into craft beer. And uh, a couple years ago, I was over at a buddy's house and he had gotten into brewing and okay. thought it was really cool. When did a couple brews and I was like, I want to do this myself. So got Can't the uh, got the equipment, nice. invested, and now I'm hooked. Can't yeah. stop brewing. <laughs> Amazing, man. Yeah. So we're going to do a podcast real soon. Yeah. Um, you're from Toronto. Yeah. So we're going to link up with Scotty out there. We're going to do a brew. Perfect. Um, we'll sit down. We'll go in detail. Uh, we've been trying to focus on the home brews a bit more. So, yeah. you know, we've been itching to have some home brews awesome. on. So super excited we'll, for we'll that. We'll something up. Hell yeah. So what do we got tonight, bro? We're going to do a four banger extravaganza. Yes. I'm excited. Tell us about uh, this side. Yeah. So I was in the grocery store the other day and... Uh, Walking through the aisles, and uh, these bottles caught my eye. So we got Unibrew. Yes. It's uh, Toute La Monde. It has a nice Megadeth guy on it. Yeah. It's a uh, Saison Ale. Nice. Excited to try that out. Looking forward to that. And then uh, this next one is from Avant Garde Brewery in Montreal that I've uh, actually never tried before. Another oh, yeah. Saison, Un Saison. Oh, no, I'm fair. I'm sure I'm mangling that That's fine. French. But... Yeah, I don't even know what it means, but <laughs> excited to try it out. Cool labels. So. Yes, great choices. I mean, ex- I've been seeing the heavy metal beers. I mean, I love beers with bands involved in them. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. Yeah, I think it's super dope. Like the Sam Roberts one. Yeah, Collective Arts does like all yeah. that. A bunch of labels are from different brands. And I love uh, that. What do you got on your side? So over here, I got two I thought you'd be interested in. So this is uh, one from Common Good, <clears throat> which we did uh, versus uh, recently, or I did one of it recently with their pills. This is their IPA. Um, so That's an in early, Scarborough? this is the one in Scarborough, uh, on Ellesmere there. So this is, uh, I guess it's number four IPA. The pills was number one. So, uh, small batch one, uh, I have not had this yet. 6.1%. So this one's going to be interesting. And I picked this up as well the other day. I'm kind of fascinated. This is Farnham, uh, which is from Montreal, uh, in a place called Farnham. Okay. And, uh, it's their South Burlington IPA. So it's different to their other one. They're all like numbered. Yeah. Um, they opened a brewery in Burlington, Vermont. Yeah. And or South Burlington to be exact. So when we went there recently, like I noticed they were everywhere and I didn't really he told us. We spoke to him at um Chambly. Okay. And if you saw that episode of me, he was the dude who said like when your girlfriend shit on your head, <laughs> you have a beer. Like he's hilarious, John. He's a funny guy. So they opened a brewery in uh, in Vermont. Oh, wicked. so I think that's super cool. So I don't know what this one is like. I'm I have some assumptions about it, but uh We'll find, we'll find out, very out. Soon. So we're going to start with the uh, saisons, of course. So uh, let's do the honors. You want to crack that bad boy? I'll yeah. Get, get this one. That fancy uh, lid on. Hell yeah. So Pop you know, the cork. You had many Unibrews before? I have. Yeah. We. I, I mean, we can get them in Toronto, but out here there's a way better selection. Yeah, so man. I picked These up a like, few. You picked up a few? Good. Yeah. These are the um, the go-tos I find out here. Like, at our, we have a depth in our building. So like I can go downstairs anytime up until like 11 p.m. literally in my pajamas. Or you want? Um, yeah, let's swap these. Actually, no, do that. Of course, this makes way more sense. All right. So this one is 4.5. What's this one? And thanks, babe. I'll let you know if we need another. E. Um, this one is 6.6. So should so we start with uh, Unibrew? All right. Cheers. cheers. Looks uh, okay. Huge head as usual. The Unibrew is definitely super yeasty. A little cloudy. We got these crappy cups over here in the chalet. <laughs> you know, we didn't, have, didn't bring any of the fancy it's stuff. It's very sweet smelling. Very sweet. Definitely little bananas, cloves. This didn't have anything in it, did it? I'll double check the bottle. I don't think so. Um, BS Saison, just Belgian, Belgian style. No, fans of hard rock music. Mm, that's about it. All right, 22 IBUs. All right, let's see. Get it in you. <laughs> That's a great point. Hey, solid. Yeah. I like that. It's good. I feel like maybe, I don't know, it's the cup or something like that. It feels like it's less um, less overly carbonated than Unibrew generally is. Is it? Would you, I don't know. I guess because I drink them more often. Um, I always just find they have a very similar carbonation profile. Yeah, it doesn't like, doesn't linger there. It's kind of... No, it's definitely a lot more subtle. I mean, I, mean I, could, I could... I feel like I could crush a few of these, mm. actually. 
You know what? This is like super sessionable. I'm right? 4.5, 4.5, whatever it was. This is great. This is fantastic. All right, let's go the um, saison on a fur. So 6.66. They got a whole thing with the devil. 6.66 seems very oh, specific. Of the other beers too, or this one? <laughs> I think they have the other ones too. Uh, no, that's not really saying much. The picture is kind of like creepy, like three black cats or wolves or something. <laughs> Shadow creatures. Shadow creatures. Look at them with the eyes looking super creepy. I like it. it looks like blood and shit. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is a rye saison, this one says. I just Oh, noticed. it's a rye saison. Okay. Saison de sieg. Okay, perfect. So, I guess that's a different grain there. So it's probably going to have a, a bit of a different flavor yeah. profile. Cheers. Cheers. Get it right <laughs> in your mates, all right? Being very rude. Hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. A lot more malt in this one. Very, uh, a lot more malt. Or at least it comes forward a lot more. Less sweet. I'm not getting as much like, yeah. cloves or bananas or anything like that, which is, I guess, typical. And yeah. in, uh, maybe the rye, like, dulls it a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's, um... I like that. It's a lot more... Like, I feel like you can taste the liquor a little more. Yeah, definitely. I you think the that? rye comes through and... Yeah. A bit it's more, tasty. A bit more earthy. A bit more earthy. I like that word. I don't use that one enough. Yeah. Earthy. Add earthy. It, add it to the vocab. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's definitely a different vibe. Um, just because they're both saisons, I mean, I guess... Uh, yeah, this one, the first one's more like summer day to me. This one, maybe after a long, hard day at work. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's definitely there. This is a crusher. This one, like you probably have this whole bottle to yourself, maybe more. Yeah. Like you said, like a poolside or like, you know, patio beer. Whereas the Saison on Fur, you probably, you know, you probably take that one to yourself or you use that and move on. I don't know, I find the, the higher ABV ones is I like to prefer to split them. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you're just limited. You can't drink as much. I don't know, I'd rather I don't know about you. taste a few different things. Than... Yeah, totally, right? Otherwise, I'm just too soft for that. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is way sweeter. Going back? Going back to the yeah, first one Yeah, go back, now? go back. Yeah, sorry. I jumped ahead and got excited. I was just curious. Like, the noses are so much sweeter. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot lighter. Like, significantly. Really enjoying it, though. Like, some of the Unibrews can be intense. Have you had, uh, like, Fin du Monde or... Oh, um, Fin du Monde. That was, class, like, one right? of the first... Uh, I think the first Unibrew. One of the first craft beers bigger? I even had. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It didn't turn you off when you were early uh, into it? No, because it's just like something exciting, something new. Nine percent or something like that. I think that this one's probably back in my yeah. back in my university days. Nice shop, mean. but <laughs> <laughs> I guess like I can imagine being uni. Like these things are like five bucks, six bucks. Yeah, and you're getting a nine percent if you get Fendemont or Don de Dieu, which is a one of them. I always forget one's eight, one's nine. Yeah, like that's like damn near a six pack in a bottle. It's almost, but it's like. I used to work at the beer store years ago, and we used to call like the forties, like uh, I guess. Oh, and stuff. oh, exactly. All of that were like because they're ten percent. That's like literally a, a six pack in a bottle. So this is damn near the same Portable. thing, but it's just quality as hell. <laughs> Pour them, yeah. You just man, this is this is really good. Yeah, I'm really digging this Unibrew one. Yeah, you have a uh, do you have a favorite of the two? I think I would have to go with, with Unibrew on this one. Both both delicious, but yeah. Uh, I think I could drink the Unibrew more often, I think, for some reason. I don't know why, I'm kind of partial to the sweeter beers. Yeah. I don't know if you have like some sort of taste profile, favoritism. I'm a, I'm a hoppy beer guy. Mm. I like my IPAs a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking Unibrew. Like, this is really good. And like, shout out to Sean and uh, Renault at um, Avant Garde. I think it's just the, the style preference. This is a boss beer. I feel like, um, I think I could just drink more of the Unibrew. And I don't, that doesn't necessarily make it a winner. No, no. I just think I just prefer that flavor. But this is a right one, so it's not sweet by nature. Yeah. So technically, it's not even a fair comparison, which is so damn hard, like, doing this versus and finding beers that are damn near identical. Um, I'm finding it tough anyway to, to compare ones because, like, yeah. I'm, the point... Well, it's so subjective anyways. So subjective. You know what? Is what it is, mate. They're both beauty beers. Yeah, damn right. It's IPA time. It's, it's, Let's our, do it. it's our time. You know how I'm ready. we're both about this. I'm ready for this. All right, we're back at it. So, we're going to jump into the IPA. So, you want to do the honors there with that uh, South Burlington? South Burlington Funnel. I got the common good here. Oh, uh, yes. Actually, you know what? Because we've. Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Mm. Probably the best way to do it. Grab it. Beauty. Okay, common goods on the left. Put that like that. Bam. All right. So I have no idea about these ones. Once again, fingers crossed they're similar. Start, Start with common with good. Start with common good. 
Okay. Oh yeah. What are we getting there? That's pretty kind of sweet. Yeah, I'm getting some citrus fruit. Definitely some citrus. A little bit of malt, not a ton. A little tropical vibe. Definitely a little tropical vibe, unexpected. Swish. A little bit of a head. Oh, a little yeah. hazy, kind of honey brown. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. cheers, get in you fella. Yeah. Okay, nice. I like it. A little musty. Yeah. I feel like I'm not sure if they did this on like a pilot brew system. Okay. I feel like, okay, quick question then. As a home brewer, the, that musty, cardboardy, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That taste, where does that come from? Because I find it's either, it's in home brews and it's predominantly in black IPAs. Like, okay. it doesn't matter how big a production brew it is. And then occasionally I'll find elements of it in, in yeah. major productions. You know what that's from? I, I could be wrong. I'm not, I'm not a super expert home brewer, but I think it has to do maybe with oxidization. Like, if you get a little hmm. over oxidized, yeah. kind of that cardboardy taste sometimes. Right. But, uh, I mean, usually it's like, not. It's like subtle. It's not like huge in this, which is just, it just gave me, I don't know why, just tasting it made me think it might be on it. Because I know they have a smaller pilot, yeah. uh, pilot brew. And, uh, you know, I know this was like an, an early batch. Yeah. I don't know how old this is. I know it's an IPA, which is kind of why I brought it, because I'm not trying to be an idiot. Gotta get the damn them. IPA is quick. <laughs> I'm trying. I've had it for maybe a month or so, a month and a half. So it's uh, probably it's not older bad. It should, it should be fine, be. yeah. Yeah. I really like this. Mm. Does it say what kind of hops or anything they use? You know what? It doesn't at all. Cheers. Or does? No. No? I'm sorry. I do like, I really, really like these silver cans with like the DIY labels. Like, yeah. Something about them. Keep it like, simple. Isn't it? It's super cool. I mean, I can't sell them like that from LCBO or, or, you know, major retailers and stuff. But like, I don't know. Some I feel like that's cool because that yeah. means you got that from the brewery. But yeah. there's no other place you can get that one. Okay. Yeah, like it's like really fruity on the front. Gets uh, yeah. more bitter that kind of lingers there in the end. A little bready. Yeah. On the malt there. Biscuity bready, yeah. I like it. I think it's really good. And That's it's 6.1, right? Yeah, I've never had common good beer, so this is... Uh, one from one. Good, well, the good pills was good too. And I, I think I prefer their pills over the Flying Monkeys because that'll come out before this, so... Yeah. Yeah, I did the... the do you have the Flying Monkeys mythology? I have... I've had it like beer festivals before, I think. Yeah, not yeah. bad. It's, I thought they was... Uh, I didn't know how that would be because Flying Monkeys are crazy. And Very nice. This one was completely just a standard run of the mill pills. It's not a bad thing at all. It's just unexpected. I thought they did like some crazy stuff. Crisp, easy drinking. This is perfect. But this was a little sweeter. Yeah. The the pills from Common Good, which I quite like. So um, let's check out this Burlington. I mean, like aching to try this it. one. So this looks uh, a little lighter. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give it a bit of a swirl. I learned this thing recently. You supposed to like cover it. Let the uh, yeah, let the that, aromas. Yes, linger like. a little, swirl it. It's kind of hard to not make it spill. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. It's not a huge like. Not a huge. No, head. like this one smells a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That one's way more pungent. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm I almost get like, like, like a. And this is fr I bought this like a week ago. So okay. I don't know how long it's been there for, yeah. but I, I grabbed the one at the front, which I hopefully they if they did first in first out doesn't say the batch or anything like that. All right, let's get this one in, this mate. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Oh yeah. Good. Not what I expected, to be honest. No. At it's, all. Uh, it's not very bitter at all. No, it's good. It's like, very smooth. Borderline uh, British, eh? Yeah. Like decent carbonation, everything like mild nose, more malt forward than hop forward. They probably yeah. use gold in Kent Fuggle or something like that. Like, yeah. The real like laid back British uh, style of hops. Hmm. This would be a, another like. I like it though. Goes yeah. well with this one almost. This. I feel like it's more smoother. of a crusher. Yeah. Uh, five point eight. So it's a little above a crusher, I guess, but kind of in that general region. Um, poundable. Poundable indeed. Hmm. It does. This is a tough one tonight, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Doing it to us. So now the real question is, which is better? Okay. Oh, it's always the hardest question. Hmm. Come from? I think I prefer the common good. I feel like there's something about the final one that I don't know if I could drink volumes of. I kind of like, think I'm the final one's like more easy drinking. Yeah. Well, technically, if you go by ABV, I mean, it's only 0.3 of a difference. Yeah. They're both great, though. You know what? That's a good point. Technically, it is more easy drinking because it feels like more of a British style. 
Yeah. IPA. Where is it? This one's like a, a bit more bitter to me, which... Come and go? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Do you have one, uh, what you vote? You know what? I'm, I'm going for the for the Burlington. You going for the Burlington? I like this one, yeah. I'm going to go common good. How's that? I've never had this before. We've never had a tie. I agree to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Got to have a first. This is like, I think we've done five or six episodes of Versus. Versus? And, uh, it's, well, a bunch of them being myself, so I can't disagree with myself. But Scott and I, the ones that we've done, we've always yeah. agreed. So that is way more interesting. I like that. That's great, man. So, uh, dude, okay, yeah, that thanks, was fun. Thanks for bringing those out. No worries, dude. Thank you for bringing these guys out. My pleasure. So, uh, that's it. Thank you very much. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe on YouTube. Thank you very much, brother. Mate, Appreciate it. Thanks Peace for having man. me on. All right, guys. Cheers.